We've got the kayak falling out of the back of the car, two rods, barely any baits because all the tackle stores are closed, and a sick plan in mind for today. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's going to be freaking gnarly. So we just got here to the spot. We have the lake behind me, which is why I brought the kayak. I'm going to kayak across the lake. I found another lake on Google Maps on the other side that nobody can get to. So I'm just going to bring the ultralight along, my bass rod, enough tackle to figure it out and just see what happens. It took me a while to get set up, but we're finally ready to go. Got my life jacket, got my waders in case it's pretty marshy over there, which I expect it will be. Got both the rods rigged up. I got a crocodile spoon on the ultralight and then I'm throwing a lipless crank. This Aruku Shad on my bass rod right here. I'm not really sure what's in here. It kind of looked trouty, not gonna lie. On Google Maps, like crystal clear water, super deep. So there might be some trout in here. Definitely expecting some bass. So let's get the kayak launched. Man, this is a tricky launch. We got straight mud underneath me. And I don't even think I'm gonna fit in this kayak right now. I have so much gear for this tiny kayak. But like I said, the goal is to not even fish this pond right here. And actually not even kayak fish at all today. I'm just using the kayak to get across here to the other side so we can fish this other pond. I've never actually done this before. I've never used a kayak to get to a spot that's inaccessible from any other point. So this is gonna be a pretty cool mission. So far, so good. Everything's looking perfect. We got overcast conditions yet again. And based on yesterday, these fish are gonna be biting like crazy. Hopefully it's a similar situation to yesterday. Literally roll up and just catch giants. Land ho. This is gonna be so epic. Coming in hot. Let's see, this might be straight mud right here. This right here is precisely why I brought the waders. I was expecting some sort of situation like this. If I had straight boots, I'd be soaking wet right now. So let's dock the kayak up and get in there. This is a super rogue mission today. Going fully incognito, trekking through the woods, getting to this spot. I doubt anyone else has done this within the past like 10 years. Because who would bring their kayak to not even fish this lake just to get across to get to this spot? I feel like only Uncle Larry Sanders are doing this kind of stuff. Just gotta make it through the thick of it over here. Got real good brush cover. It's always good when you're in the woods like this to follow the deer trails. They usually pave a pretty clear route. I'm really good friends with the deer. They really help me out in these sends. It's always so cool trekking through the woods, not knowing where the lake is. And then when you see it for your first time, it's incredible. We're almost at the spot. All right, first look at the lake. We got a steep drop off, crystal clear water. There's a bass right there. There's literally a bass right there. Okay, I'm gonna cast out the lipless. Try to get this bass. That's a great sign. Exactly why I made the extra effort to go way over here, out of my way. Didn't even fish that first lake and got over here to water that hasn't even touched in a long time. When you're fishing a new lake, you wanna throw different baits, try different depths, figure out where the fish are, what kind of fish are actually in the lake, and right now, I see like five bass cruising at my feet. I feel like they've gotta hit the crocodile. Wow, bold eagle over there in the distance. So cool what you see when you go out in nature. Sometimes we're seeing bobcats, different species of deer, bald eagles, you name it. We're seeing it. Look at that. Got him. <gasps> Giant rainbow trout. Just missed the spoon. Let's see if he comes back. That was insane. Now we know there are rainbow trout in here. Once I figure out this tangle, I'll be able to hopefully catch that fish. That's why sometimes, guys, you gotta keep throwing that bait, even if it's not getting bit right away. If I didn't take those couple of casts, I wouldn't have even known that there are rainbow trout in here. Trying the crocodile at a different depth, letting it sink all the way down, just gonna slow roll it in. I feel like that fish that bit is in this vicinity. He must still be in this area. I definitely got the other hit from him, so he should be biting still. Got him. Largemouth bass. First fish of the day. Finally stuck one of these fish. I was not exactly going for this one. I was going for that giant rainbow I saw again. That's a good start to the day though, on the crocodile spoon. Oh, 
Oh my god. Got him. Giant fish. Holy crap. That fish just hit it on the jig. As I just saw a fish rise up and take a bait fish on the surface. I don't know what this is. This is huge though. Is he off? No, he's still on there. Just running straight at me. Oh my god, big, big rainbow. Let's go. Not quite as big as the first one that hit me. But that's a gorgeous fish. This fish just crushed the crocodile. I was jigging on the bottom. Solid 18 inch fish. Got him. That's the bite we were looking for. What is that? Oh my God, is that a salmon? Yo, landlocked salmon. No way. That's unreal. I was just throwing a spoon out there trying to go for that rainbow that hit me before. There's a little landlocked salmon. And there's a little landlocked salmon. Gorgeous colors on them. What a way to start the day off. First loss of a giant rainbow. Now this cool guy bit. I'm speechless. So I decided to pack it up, switch spots. The bite kind of died over there, and plus that was a little back cove. I'm gonna try main lake point. Got the crocodile tied on my bigger bass right now, so I won't miss as many fish. I'm trying the kayak tech on the ultralight. Definitely thinking this should get it done. All right, we're at the next spot, just casting the crocodile way out here. I see some fish rising. Let's see if we can get them. Got him. Oh my god. Giant fish. Oh my god. Huge rainbow trout. Oh my god. Oh, this is a giant. This is a giant, guys. Just slam the crocodile. Holy shit. Let's get him landed. This is a huge trout, guys. This is probably about the size of the one I lost before. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish. Giant rainbow. He's about to freak out. He's about to freak out. Let's see if we can land him. Absolutely massive rainbow trout. That's so sick. Such a nice fish. So cool how I kayaked across that little portion of the lake to get here and then found one of the craziest trout bites I've ever seen in a lake before. I can't believe I caught a fish that size. Got him. Oh my god, giant largemouth bass. That's a mega. On a spoon. Good three and a half pounder. Ah, let's go. Go! Chunk of a bass. Oh, big fish. Oh, giant largemouth. Oh, oh my god. Four pounder. Let's go. Look at that fish. Just tried this spot over here. Thought it was a little bigger. The dimensions on this fish are absurd. Look at that thing. All right, we're heading out of the spot. Such a cool little mission today. Kayaking across that lake, finding this body of water that was completely secluded. No one's been fishing here for a while. Got on that massive rainbow, a landlocked salmon, some good sized bass. It's always so rewarding exploring new water like that and having success. There's nothing that beats it. Just gonna kayak back to the car now. And until next time, I hope you guys keep on exploring new water, getting out there every chance you can and never end in the sun. Yeah.